I put on makeup today for a different reason and I decided to carry through that and film a video. Woohoo! Hello everyone! It's been a while, but we here. Hey, how's life? How are, how are things? How you doing? I don't really know what to say. I just wanted to sit and talk. I don't really know what about, so... Here we are. I've been watching some TV shows. I just finished watching Good Trouble. Oh my gosh, it's such a good show. Like here's the thing, I've seen a few episodes of The Fosters but I didn't really like stick with it. But I'd heard some great things about Good Trouble and I didn't really know exactly what it was. I knew it was, you know, Callie and Mariana and them continue on their journey. Someone's having a party outside. But oh my gosh, this show has everything. Literally all of it is covered in this show. It's so good. Please tell me that there's a season three and show me where to stand in line for an audition. My favorite character in the show is Raj. <laughs> Honestly, he just kind of is there <laughs> and it just does his job and falls in love with Mariana and things happen. That's literally all Raj does. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and now I'm catching up on The Good Place with a mean show starting with the word good. I've heard a lot about this show. A couple years ago, I was with a few friends before quarantine. <laughs> My friend Panda showed me the first two episodes and I was like, oh, this is really interesting. But I never really got past those two episodes. <laughs> until my friend Mikey was like, you have to watch The Good Place, it's so good. We tend to have the same, like a similar taste in TV shows, like Younger and Bunheads. We just love Sun Foster. So that's always fun. Oh my gosh, if you haven't watched the show Normal People on Hulu, first of all, go get Hulu. And second of all, brace yourself. A lot of things happen in Normal People. And like the nerd I am, I just watch interviews of Paul Meskel and Daisy Edgar Jones because as previously stated, I'm a nerd. It's very real and raw and I did a review on it on my IGTV. So I don't want to talk about that too much on here because I did somewhere else. Oh, people are talking about a season two for Normal People. Controversial opinion, I don't want a season two. <laughs> I don't know why. I actually, I do know why. I don't know why I said that. I feel like the story's done. Like, please don't, do a season two for the sake of having a season two unless you really have somewhere to take these characters because i don't want it otherwise you know what i'm saying like these people they mean something to me all right connell and marianne they're like my friends and i know so much about them and we just got to know so each other so well so well that like my words started stumbling what else can we talk about i've been reading i've been reading oh my gosh this is so crazy i've been reading our wayward fate by gloria chow i have read american panda by gloria chow which was her first novel and i just finished rereading it because i love it so much also happy asian american pacific islander heritage month read this it's fun and it's about asian americans <laughs> i love her writing style she's very humorous but also it's just real oh what is this about let me talk about that for a hot second it's about a girl this girl right here she is in high school and she's attending this high school in like the middle of nowhere indiana and i lived in the midwest for a while i know what the middle of nowhere looks like <laughs> no shade to the midwest i love the midwest it's so nice there anyway she's like the only basically person of color in her school until somebody else walks in who is also of the same heritage as her and so everybody's kind of shipping them and she's all okay don't do that that's not right and that's kind of racist that like oh my gosh the two asian people <laughs> they're gonna start dating of course logic and she's all okay, don't assume that just because we're both Asian. And then she gets to know him and she's all. But I don't know how this ends because I've, I haven't finished reading it. Here's the thing about me right now. I don't want to finish things because I know it's done. Like it's over in my brain. It's just, I know how it ends now. Nothing is that surprising. I'm just like, oh my gosh, yes, this happened. I reread My Life with the Walter Boys by Ali Novak and Every time a character is introduced, I was like, ah, this guy. Any theater- Oh my gosh. I think it was today that it was announced that CBS- I need- I need space. This year, instead of the Tony Awards, CBS- 
every year the Tony Awards happens, right? If you don't know what the Tony Awards are, they're basically like the Oscars for theater. So that means it's like spectacular and awesome and really fun for us theater nerds. This year, instead of the Tony Awards in the summer, ZBS will be airing Grease, the film. Grease. Here's the thing. I don't really have anything against Grease. I was in a production of Grease. I was a teacher in Greece, so I don't really have an issue with a movie musical per se, and one that's kind of been critically acclaimed, I guess, for years. So yeah, but it's not a fair trade. You can't, you can't just not have an award ceremony. Well, I understand if you can have an award ceremony because of like whole pandemic. Broadway's been closed since like three months ago and it's gonna be closed for another three months. Valid, okay, I get you, but it's not a fair trade. <laughs> that is the bottom line. You keep... <sighs> the thing is, Hamilton is coming to Disney Plus on July 3rd. Yay, thank you for that. I don't, I don't really know how to explain this. It's just like, why? There are alternatives. Didn't y'all do like live musical performances that were televised isn't couldn't i just think that there are other options there is another way oh you know how i think it's abc is doing that whole like disney family sing-along thing with like a bunch of celebrities and big stars singing disney songs here's an idea why don't you have broadway stars do the tony performances and then just show clips from the pro shots that you had for publicity as like a yo don't you miss theater so do we this is what we're missing out on the day we come back is gonna be glorious i fixed it <laughs> i did it <laughs> karen's i did it and mean girls see i know that a lot of things are closed and a lot of performances didn't get to happen or a lot of shows got canceled and a lot of people's gigs and jobs were kind of yanked out from under them it's all gonna be okay <laughs> It's all gonna be okay. Isn't that a song? As everybody's been saying, this too shall pass. So like, don't worry about it. But for real, this is, I mean, this is gonna all gonna be over. It better be. Because that's not the way the world spins, folks. Speaking of which, I'm in an online production. I am now a part of an online production called Excalibur Online Productions. And we are putting on a staged reading. I think, I'm pretty sure it's called a stage reading. Of two Shakespeare plays. One is Taming of the Shrew, and the second is A Midsummer Night's Dream. I am involved in both. I am playing Huntsman number two and Philip in The Taming of the Shrew. And I am playing Helena in A Midsummer Night's Dream. Isn't that crazy? Shakespeare's kind of scary, but like, it's all right, you know? We doing it, we still performing, we acted. I mean, since I mentioned it, check out the description below for more information. It's gonna be online, it's free, and it's all my, it's all my peoples. I'm graduating next year. Next year? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm graduating next week. <laughs> By the time this video is up though, it'll probably be this week because I don't know if I'm gonna get this video up before then. But yeah, it's my last semester of college. Woo! My posture has changed so many times in this video and and I am now a slug. Let me readjust. See, just like the beginning of the video. Uh, you know what's cool? <laughs> My eyes are so small when, you, when I smile. You can't even see that I'm not looking at the camera lens. I'm looking at, you know, myself. This is me looking at the camera lens. Hey. Happy Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've got for today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Again, check out the other things that I mentioned in this video. Let's talk about stuff. Let's talk about the Tony Awards thing. Oh my gosh, it's insane. What? I'm gonna get all riled up again for no reason. So I'm just gonna end the video right now. Thanks for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I'll see you another time. Goodbye.